guys, welcome to the Nerd Militia, and today on the Maverick Cut, we are going to be talking Loki. Alright guys, so if you've watched any of my other videos about Marvel's cinematic television universe, or Disney Plus universe, um, they are good, they're not great. Now, I know a lot of people swear by WandaVision, they swear by uh, Falcon Winter Soldier, and they also swear by Loki. But honestly, these series are nothing but like exposition dumps. Um, and they're made to be that. Basically, they're there to get us from point A to point B, so that in future installments, the movie installments, there doesn't have to be too much ex exposition, which I'm hoping for because if any of these upcoming movies spend way too much explaining stuff instead of showing stuff, then I think the, these series have failed. That being said, what Loki is the anomaly, much like his character, um, the same rules don't apply. What I mean by that I, is that Loki is the first show to be greenlit for a second season. So maybe the series curse won't follow it in the second series and it'll start doing a whole lot of telling and there'll be a little bit more um, satisfactory elements to the second season than there were in the first season. Because um, to touch on that, the first season well, as I said before, was to get you from point A to point B. Um, I definitely expect things that have happened in Loki, WandaVision, and uh, Winter Soldier to have effects on the upcoming Doctor Strange movie, Shang-Chi, uh, and a lot of other factors. Like, these shows mean something, obviously. They're not just shows. Loki having a second season now has a different purpose. He could tell a more Loki-esque story without having to worry about the MCU at large. The cast for the series was amazing. My only gripe about it was that I really wish they used uh, Sasha Lane more. Um, she was in um, Hellboy, uh, and I mean, like, Hellboy wasn't that great, but I think like she's more of an actress that de deserves a little bit more than just like, you know, 10 minutes on screen. That being said, I, w I wonder if she's gonna turn up later on. So the development of the show happened way back in 2018. Um, they hired some great writers, Eric Martin, uh, Michael what, Waldron, Waldron? I think it's, it's right now it's his last name wrong, I'm sorry. Now the show at times is very intriguing. Um, the world is wonderfully built. The visuals are amazing. Um, there's not much to gripe about when it comes to the Loki series. Loki the series revolves around Loki escaping the Avengers only to end up in the clutches of the TVA, thus sending him on a wild and crazy adventure to capture variant versions of himself to vie for his freedom. <laughs> Here's my issue with Loki. It spends way too much time talking. Um, wow, the, the, it was definitely a grab bag of things, um, sheesh guys, like, to be honest, uh, there, in my opinion, there really wasn't enough going on or enough, uh, happening in the series to get me to care. Honestly, episodes one and the ending episodes are like the only thing that matters. Everything else is just fluff. Um, they don't really dive into uh, the whole uh, B.D. Cooper thing. Uh, the Loki variants are not really, um, like, discussed a lot, or there's not a lot done with them, so it's like, meh. Also, I, I know I'll probably get a lot of hate for this next comment, but, like, are we really trying to like explain or like justify the fact that Loki is literally falling in love with Loki? Like they're the same person, just different gender. And I, I and I would say like, okay, cool. That maybe falls into Loki's character. Uh, he's egotistical, right? And so falling for himself is something that he would do. All right, cool. I'll buy that. But I, I don't buy the whole like, oh, I'm in love with this person because she's interesting like she's you that's borderline incest like i don't understand why we're like this why we're playing along like it doesn't make sense to me like it just doesn't it does not fly but yeah guys again my opinion this show was a lot of promise not a lot of action um and and i think 
that's okay for Marvel. Marvel has 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 got this reputation that when they they deliver, they deliver. So they could put out a series of like lackluster uh, TV shows and like get away with it. They've 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 earned that. Um, uh, would I hold this series against uh, Loki? No, I get what it is. It's again, uh, it, it's to get you from point A to point B, and then from point B to point C. It's not really there to like put any extra lore on Loki, make Loki a greater character. Really, there's, I mean, there's minimum character growth in Loki. They they literally take old Loki and force him to become Loki that dies by Thanos in a span of five minutes in episode one so that you can care about this Loki again, which is cool. I, I, I get what they do then. Hats off to the writer who accomplished that. Um, but to touch base on this character, like, okay, okay. So I'm, I'm doing another Maverick cut on a different um, movie, which is Black Widow. Um, they're pushing Loki ahead and, and that's fine. But I hope in season two, they explore more of Loki and Asgard because uh, all we're left with really is Loki was jealous that his father may or may not have loved him more than Thor, or didn't love him as much as he loved Thor. He wasn't going to get a crown. His past was uh, lied to him about. And then um, it, they just took all that and and crammed it into he's just jealous of Thor and he wants to rule the world. So that's Loki's character. Um, I don't have a lot of emotion for Loki. Like when things happen to him, I don't feel bad for him. And I don't necessarily feel like sad for him. And then when when him and Thor have conflict, like I don't believe that they're brothers. And I feel like that's a story plot point they need to resolve because I don't think it was ever resolved. And I know they had that scene and uh, Thor Ragnarok, and that's cool, but there's just something there. I don't feel like they're brothers. Now, like I said earlier, I was gonna touch on another uh, movie that I'm doing from uh, Maverick, for the, for the Maverick cut, and that is Black Widow. In the first 10 minutes of that movie, I feel for Natasha. Like, I believe her and her sister are sisters, even though they are adopted, just like Thor and uh, Loki, and we've had Thor and Loki longer, I feel more for their relationship than I do for Loki and Thor. And that's an issue. And I think they need to address that and tell a deeper story. And I hope his character grows more. Um, on top of that, to end my opinion, I read that they did not take any notes from uh, Todd uh, Middleton or, yeah, Middleton? Is it Middleton? Tom Middleton? Hiddleston? Fuck it. <laughs> Uh, they didn't take any um, advice or any uh, suggestions from the actor who plays Loki. And that's understandable. I get it. Like, I, sometimes we fall into these traps when um, actors take over um, the character or where the character's going. Looking at you, Margot Robbie. So I can get them not listening. But also, I hope they uh, maybe take some pointers for him moving forward in season two. Because he has played the character for multiple years. Unlike... Margot Robbie, who only played her for one movie and then all of a sudden became an executive producer on her upcoming and future movies. Don't know how that happened. The end of all this, guys, Loki to me is a five out of 10 series, okay? Um, none of the Disney Plus series are like crazy good to me. I know like a lot of people on here and TikTok and everywhere swear by these series, but I promise you guys, these series are nothing but fluff. You can literally watch the first episode and skip to the end episode and you would have not missed anything. There's no information that's given in any of these movies that will make you go like, oh man, it's important to watch these films. It's it's honestly, it's not. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not, but they are entertaining. Uh, for me, in my life, these shows are the shows I watch when I'm in the airport waiting to take off and go somewhere. You guys, so that's a wrap for this episode of Maverick Cut. Um, I hope you guys take what I say with a grain of salt, and I know that's weird to say, but at the end of the day, these are just my opinions, guys. You like what you like. If you love Loki, love like Loki. There's nothing wrong with that. And just because I think it's a five doesn't mean you won't think it's a nine or a ten. Go out and watch it. Um, I, I think you still owe it to yourself to at least give this uh, series a chance. 
don't just go by my opinion. My opinion is what it is, an opinion. So as usual, guys, thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you guys later. Stay excellent. Mm -hmm.